Hey, what's going on, family? Thanks for tuning in to another Gutrition. Today, I'm sitting in my shower room. Welcome back. Um, I want to talk about collagen. You hear all the time, you know, celebrities, maybe they get collagen injections or um, collagen supplementation or, you know, collagen this, collagen that. You might see it more and more as I am lately. Um, it's one of those things I did a little basic research and I was like, wow, this is a no brainer. Collagen peptides are useful to the body in many different ways. So the first that the, probably the most popular way is for hair, skin and nail health. Um, um, so a lot of people have, you know, pretty hardcore acne. I believe it's called cystic acne. And um, I've read some stuff how collagen supplementation um, eliminated the cystic acne. Um, moving on, so bones and joints. Collagen peptides are known to help your bones and joints. Um, and actually, 90% of your bone mass is collagen. So it's a huge component of your bones, your joints. Um, so bone and joint health, um, let's keep going with that. I guess, uh, osteoarthritis, you know, it's a common thing happens to our joints as we age. It's painful. Um, collagen supplementation is, has been known to help in that as well. Collagen is the main component in what lines our gut, what lines our stomach. So healing and producing new um, stomach lining cells, gut lining. Let's go more into detail about skin health, collagen and skin health. You know, it's really popular. Um, so, you know, because it's the uh, foundational matrix to the skin, we get, you know, pretty good skin integrity, um, the higher level of uh, collagen we have in our body. Um, so, you know, piggybacking off that, as we, you know, get to age 30, past 30, you know, every year past 30, it's hypothesized that you lose 1% of your collagen per year. So, it's one of those things. It's definitely worth consi you know a lot of people consider supplementing it because it's like oh wow I'm noticing differences in my skin when you're supplementing collagen um, the chances are you're buying a collagen peptide powder um, that um, you're probably but it's hydrolyzed type 1 collagen so that means it was extracted from the hides or bones um, or scales of animals and uh, so the process so when it's hydrolyzed it just means that the amino acid chains have been broken down into smaller units so basically this helps for you know letting it dissolve better in water hot or cold we hear about you know all the benefits of collagen you know we see all these little companies making a lot of money now you know selling us collagen supplements so um but we don't really hear much about the other side of collagen some of the other stuff that collagen is known clinically you know research and proven to do so um, i just want to read the abstract of an article i'll throw the link up on in the uh the um video description bear with me um, as I read this abstract of this article, it's a scholarly article, um, a lot of physiological jargon, you know, big funky words and whatnot, but, so, you'll kind of get where this is going though, especially towards the end, so, check it out, um, <clears throat> it has been recognized that cancer is not merely a disease of tumor cells, but a disease of imbalance in which stromal cells and tumor microenvironment play crucial roles. Extracellular matrix, matrix as the most abundant component in the tumor microenvironment can regulate tumor cell behaviors and tissue tension homeostasis.
Collagen constitutes the scaffold of tumor microenvironment and affects tumor microenvironment such that it regulates extracellular matrix, remodeling by collagen degradation and redeposition and promotes tumor infiltration, angiogenesis, invasion, and migration. While collagen was traditionally regarded as a passive barrier to resist tumor cells, it is now evident that collagen is also actively involved in promoting tumor progression. Collagen changes in tumor microenvironment release biomechanical signals which are sensed by both tumor cells and stromal cells. Trigger, yeah, so they now trigger a, a cascade of biological events. In this work, we discuss how collagen can be a double-edged sword in tumor progression, both inhibiting and promoting tumor progression at different stages of cancer development. So I read that and I'm like, okay, so is collagen helping me or is it promoting things that I don't want to occur inside my body? All right, guys, instead of just reading the abstract of a bunch of scholarly articles linking collagen to cancer this cancer that um let me just so i typed let me just read this so i typed collagen links to cancer into google and uh, you guys can do this too so immediately google says it has been it has long been known that women with denser breasts are at a higher risk for cancer this greater density is caused by an excess of a structural protein called collagen. All right, boom. So then we have some scholarly articles here. Cancer reactivated by collagen. Um, study links changes in collagen to worse pancreatic cancer prognosis. Metastasizing cancer cells prefer denser collagen. Uh, high level high levels of collagen in breasts are associated with breast cancer bladder cancer progression linked to collagen changes um, okay elevated collagen one augments tumor progressive signals um, so guys the list goes on so it's definitely something to really look into I'm not really fully sold on the fact that having a higher level of collagen one in your body um you know causes and spreads cancer quicker um really strictly because of all the good things i do know about collagen and how it's essential to our body and how our body is has a a massive composition of of um, collagen inside of us so I mean it's it's one of those things where you know I still choose I still chose to supplement with it you know um, I don't go crazy with it I don't even take the serving size but it's because I know my diet already is pretty rich in um, collagen but it's just one of those things why not you know especially with all the wear and tear on my joints um, on a daily basis you know it's just it I prefer to put back, you know, and I use collagen. Um, but like I said, guys, think about it. I'm just really here to tell you guys both sides. That's my job. Okay, yeah, so you can take collagen, but, um, you know, it's also been known to do this. I still take it, but I have to, you know, just let you guys be aware of that. So you guys know I've been on a Suji kick. I... You know, I really like the product. Um, they always come with really fire juices. This is actually a suja, it's like a fruit protein drink. They got some um, plant-based protein in here, very good, pea-based, I believe, yeah, pea protein. Um, so what I've been doing is I, I scoop a little collagen, you know, just one scoop, and uh, I'll throw it in here. And another thing, fam, so I don't really think it's the fact that people are over supplementing or over ingesting collagen one and that's kind of having that positive reaction on their cancer you know as far as making the cancer grow faster and spread um i think it's more the their body's lack of the ability to break that collagen one down you know effectively and properly you guys do the research you guys be the judge 
Um, I think supplementing with collagen is perfectly fine, especially as we get a little older um, and we want to slow down some of the things that happen with aging. I use Vital Proteins. So guys, I got this at Fuel. Shout out to Fuel, Brent and Dina. Super cool dudes. Um, so, yeah, so this is what it is. It, this is unflavored. Um, so, just, I'll read the back to you guys. But basically, uh, we believe that the whole food-based nutrition containing collagen is beneficial for looking and feeling your best. Compared to our ancestors, our diets today contain less collagen and this natural protein has been removed by our modern food processing. We are committed to providing products that help add collagen to your diet. So I think that's cool. That's you know it's a pretty cool thing to say. Um there's also a vanilla coconut flavor, you know I snagged that one too. Um once again shout out fuel and then uh, I got the vital proteins website up here and um so just a little something I thought was interesting. So our products are naturally, or our products are natural sources of essential proteins sourced from pasture raised cows in Brazil and New Zealand and wild caught fish in Hawaii. Why go so many extra miles for these sources? Because there's nothing more important than one's health and we believe the body needs and deserves high qu quality building blocks for life's adventures. So, I mean, it seems cool. Um, it's one of those things I see very healthy, intelligent, successful people supplementing with collagen and um, you know there's got to be a little something behind that so I did the research and uh, I'm still behind it. I'm going to continue supplementing with it. And always fam, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me again in my shower room. Um, it's super vibey in here. I love just kind of sitting in here vibing and whatnot, kind of getting my, my day right. But, um, so, yeah, guys, we talked about collagen today, a little bit of nutrition for you. I'm behind it, but, you know, like I said, there's some little extra research you guys need to do before you make the decision on whether or not you supplement it into your diet. Um, once again, man, shout out to my friends and family, all my ghouls out there, um, mad gooey, mad guru -y. Um, I love every one of you guys. You guys are super dope. All right, fam, bam. Thanks again, man. Stay gooey. Peace. And guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Um, you know, I'm just trying to uh, spread some knowledge to some good people, man. I love all you guys, man. People, we're, you know, we're, we're beautiful creatures. So, um, you know, every one of you guys is really cool, really beautiful, really vibey. So, you know, take this knowledge and, uh, you know, invigorate your lives with it.